Hi guys, Morin here. I know I said I was going to put a challenge up before Christmas, but that video really never happened yet because I've been just so busy with Christmas stuff. But it is going to happen right after Christmas. I promise it's going to happen. It's going to be so funny. It's going to be worth the wait. But something happened to me while I was Christmas shopping and I want your input and tell me what you think because it bothered me and I want to tell you guys this story. So I'm walking through the store, okay, and my hair is pulled up in my ponytail, but as everyone knows, it says my heads are shaved, but my hair is pulled up, my hair's long, so it's still back here, and I have a sweatshirt on, jeans, and so what, what, whatever. That's what I look like. Just picture that's what I look like. My hair is pulled up and I have a sweatshirt on. And there's this mother with her little kid in a, in the car and she's right next to me pushing. And there's this little kid who has to be maybe like four-ish. Probably four-ish. I'm going to give him to, to be four. And he's staring at me and I'm like, I don't really know why this kid is staring at me, but whatever. And he looks at his mom and he goes, Mom, is that a boy or a girl? And I was just like, okay, that hurt a little bit. But that has not happened to me in years, in years. Years ago, that has happened to me like maybe two or three times when I had my hair like really, really short, like my hair would be... My hair was like this long on that top of my head because my hair would be like in like a mohawk type of thing. But when it wasn't done and I would just like be put to the side, it would like come like down to here. You really couldn't, like it was just like, and I, if I didn't have makeup on and I'd walk around a sweatshirt, I could see where people would get a little confused, I guess. I don't know. I felt like I still look a good girl, but I don't know. This little boy said it, and I was just like, okay, like, whatever. And now here I am waiting for this mother's response to see how she reacts to her kid saying this in the in public. She knows I heard her child say this. And her his mother, I was thinking the mother was either going to say one of two things. Either, oh my god, I'm so sorry, and look at me because she knows I heard him and apologize, say something. Or if this mother absolutely hated confrontation, didn't know what to say, was completely embarrassed, been like, oh my god, she's like, we don't say things like that, that's completely inappropriate, no, 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 we don't say things like that, and then maybe we'll have talked to her kid afterwards and been, been like that. But instead, instead of doing that, she turns her head, looks me up and down, and goes... I don't even know. And just stands there. Doesn't move. Doesn't do anything. And now I'm standing there like... It, you, it, it was so ignorant. Like you knew I was a girl. You knew. You knew there was no confusion that I was a boy. There was no... Like there was no way. But like if you really did think I was a boy, like fine. Like okay. Like... That it wasn't even the point that hurt me. That wasn't even the point that bothered me so much. The point that bothered me was the ignorance behind what she said. Like that's how we have so many people in this world that don't that aren't open minded. So many people in this world who just they they could say what they want to say and think that they won't hurt anyone else's feelings. But if she would have said something to her child and would have been like, oh, we don't, we don't say things like that, or even if you did have that question and you didn't know, you can ask, like, ask, like, I, I, you can question, like, honestly, it was just, like, total, total pure ignorance, especially around the holidays, when you're supposed to be the completely, like, nicest in the stores and people's walking around saying happy holidays, this is what this woman did. I was in pure shock. It it did not bother me at all. Well, I mean, a little bit. It, that this woman didn't, like, she said to her kid, I don't even know. 
Like, you knew I was a girl. Like, there was no confusion. Like, I don't feel like I look like a boy, like, even 1%. But, I mean, seriously, if you didn't know, you could not have even said to your kid, explain to him in some way that that is not something that we shout out in the middle of the store. That's not something that you do. Because if you raise your kid that way, that's what they're going to grow up to think that is okay. Like that, I, oh my, it was pissing me off so much that it hurt that this is what, if we raise these kids, that this is our next generation. This is our next generation that's growing up. This kid was four years old. He's our next generation growing up. So if he thinks that way and doesn't care what he says, his mom doesn't care what he says, he thinks it's okay to say whatever the hell he wants, I was just, like, baffled that this woman let him, like, even if he was confused, he's a child. He's a child. He's going to say what he wants. I understand that. I have a little brother. I have a little nephew. Kids say what they want to say. It just comes out. And sometimes you do get very embarrassed and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe that came out of their mouth. And even if you're embarrassed and you like walk away, explain to them that, explain that it's like, that's not okay to shout out in the store. And explain that, that that's not, that's why we don't have people that are so open-minded. It wasn't even the, the son that bothered me. It wasn't. It was her. It wasn't the kid at all. Because he's a child. He's a baby. It, it, it wasn't the baby that bothered me. Because he's a kid. I understand that. Like, it would never bother me that a child was confused. It was the way the mother was obviously bringing up her kid. It was the way the mother was raising her child... She was raising him like it was okay to think that way. Like it, it's not okay. To, it's not okay to think that. Like, well, I'm, to each his own. But to me, you should be able to dress how you. If I wanted to dress like that, why would it matter to anyone? Why? If I was a girl and I wanted to dress like a boy, why would it matter to you? Why would it matter to you if I was walking around the supermarket if I looked like a boy? Not, not to the little kid, but to the mother. You should be teaching your kid that. That's what you should be teaching your kid. It was not the little kid that bothered me at all because I understand that little kids say things sometimes and it's like, oh, like, you shouldn't have said that. You had a little bit of like a embarrassment moment where maybe you should have just like walked away but the way this woman totally handled the conversation was so rude that I couldn't like I was so baffled by it that it didn't even hurt my feelings in the way that she thought I was a boy it hurt my feelings in a way that this is the world that we're living in that we're going into 2018 and this woman was talking to her kid like, I don't even know. Not even like, oh, like, even like if you didn't know, oh, honey, if fucking explained something. I, I don't know. Does anybody else agree with me on that? Like, that was like the worst thing that could have like, you that could have came out of that mother's mouth. Does anyone else agree with me? I don't know. Like, I, I, I am baffled that that is what happened. So baffled. How? Like, it, like, not even this child's fault. Like, I understand that kids get confused, especially at a young age. But now is the time at a young age to teach a child. Now is the time for this mother to be talking to the kid and being like, Listen, you can dress in what you want. Like, if you want to dress... And like a pink shirt. You can wear whatever the hell you want. But if somebody turned around in the store and was like, is that a boy or a girl? That wouldn't make you feel the best feeling in the world. That wouldn't make you feel too good, would it? This is the age that you teach your children that... This is the age that you teach them that 
discrimination against people, especially in the LGBT community nowadays, is not okay. This is the age that you teach them. And having a little brother who's five and having a nephew who is two, that is the one thing that I am teaching them is that it is okay to be yourself. And the one thing you do is you do not discriminate against anyone. Because everyone is going through their own shit. And that everyone, everyone is equal. Everyone. And it's just... This mother's response was absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely ridiculous. So, so, so rude. Ah, I, I, just... Baffling. Baffling. That this is how people still think. But anyway... Happy Holidays. I hope everyone has a great Christmas. Um... If you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. And I will be coming out with a new video. But that was just my short story of what happened to me yesterday. Uh, yeah. Alright. I love you guys. Thank you so much.